Article de voyage maison fondée en 1854. You guys know I speak French, so I ain't saying that with no accent. <laughs> What's up guys welcome to a new video so today's video is brought to you by power ad power ad is a store that you can find on amazon they will hook you up girl for a very low price they do sell some portable chargers you can find different shapes if you want something smaller but the one that i'm trying is their 15,000 compact portable charger it has different ports in there to plug in your ipad your samsung your ipod different electronic devices and this is a must in my bag because I'm always on the go and my phone is always dead. So make sure y'all check out their links in the description box down below and I will also include this in one of the must have items in my bag today. What's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, make sure that you hit that subscribe button down below. Make sure you become part of the family, like, comment, and subscribe, and all of that good stuff. I wanted to show you guys and do a thorough review of my new baby here. Big girl purchase okay and then i also want to show you guys an updated what's in my bag let's purchase a new organizer for this baby and i have all of my stuff in here also a little updated this is a little different from my last one because we have some new goodies in here for the year of 2020 2020 is here and it is a year of go get it it is a girl boss year it took me a good week to make up my mind on buying this bag and i finally went and pulled the trigger and i was like okay boom i'm gonna go ahead and purchase this bag because i love it and because i want to period by the way i have my little accessory here which is a scrub uniform this was a gift from my mom i have my hand sanitizer attached to here i ordered this online and it came in packaged delivered this beautiful box here that says louis vuitton they had this white ribbon here that also says louis vuitton and it was packaged so beautifully you guys they made sure that i received this bad boy with no damages no issues inside of the box they sent you your receipt here and information about the bag and also exchanges and returns now you want to make sure that you don't lose this because if you ever want to resell the bag this is kind of like proof of authenticity and if you want to ex exchange or even return the bag and store it online i'm pretty sure you're gonna need this so this is something that i will keep with me forever so the bag itself was stored inside of this here and i love this material i don't know what this this is just like a holder like a bag for it and it made sure i guess to make sure that your bag doesn't get damaged or doesn't get dust or anything so if you know that you're gonna put this in your closet somewhere and not use it for a while you should definitely keep this because you can always store your bag in it this is the louis vuitton never full mm and the print damier now the my go-to bag used to be my michael kors tote which probably equal to the gm size so for this type of bag they have the pm which is a smaller one they have the mm which is the medium and they also have a gm which is the grande big one but i felt like the gm was a little bigger i watched ton of reviews i thought about this for a whole week before making up my mind and i decided to go with the mm because i wanted something that is not too big and so basically it is the checkers print in a couple of areas it says louis vuitton paris um i had to really make my research about this bag because i had no idea i thought like it was a leather bag but you need to be aware that all of this is canvas the actual leather part is the strap here i feel like a lot of people have the monogram print i wanted to go i wanted to just get something a little different i didn't want to get a really popular style if you guys get what i'm saying now on the side here you have these adjustable straps and basically you guys if you don't want to carry it in a tote mode like this let me show you what you can do so all you have to do 
is tighten these straps on each side like this. Tighten the straps, okay. So when I first got the bag, it was a little hard for me to do this because you know, it, it was like fresh out of the box. All you have to do is tighten each side as you please and boom. You got a whole different bag, a whole different shape, okay? It makes it just look a little more, it just gives it a different shape if you don't like that tote shape. And I really like that, okay? So when you are done with that, you just pull the strings out and voila, you got your tote back. So like on the inside, this is a pretty much open tote. Here's the inside of the bag. I went with the cherry for the inside. And on the inside here, this is just a pretty much open space. It also has these clips here if you would like to just close up the bag because it doesn't come with a zipper. It's basically like an open book. And now it just becomes a little bit more closed. So your stuff is not just gonna spill out of the bag. But another great thing that's it, that is in here is, so on the inside here, it says Louis Vuitton, Art, Artique de Voyage Maison Fondée en 1854. You guys know I speak French, so I ain't saying that with no accent. Um, so yeah, and it says Louis Vuitton Paris right here. You guys, here's one of my favorite things in this bag is this pochette. They call it a pochette or you can call it um, a wristlet or like a little bag. I love this pochette in here, you guys. This is a whole separate bag itself. So if you are going out and you don't feel like bringing this huge tote with you. The other day I went to a girls night out with my friends so I was kind of dressed up and I didn't want to bring a tote with me because it makes it look really casual. So all I did was carry this around with me. Cards in here, ID, I had mint gum, I had lip gloss, I had my phone, my keys, everything fit in here. It didn't look too bulky or anything. You have enough space to fit a lot of things in here. And it has a whole different compartment inside of it too. There is an area right here inside the bag. Can y'all see it? There's an area right here where you can attach your pochette if you just want to keep it in the bag. I've just been wearing this tote with the pochette inside of it, but that's totally optional. I wanted to buy an organizer. Reason why I wanted to buy an organizer is because I just hate when things get lost in my bag or if my bag is messy, period, because you just feel like your life is in shambles. It's like a messy room. You don't know where to find anything. And so I went on Amazon and purchased an organizer. And I made sure to purchase the same color with the bag. So, you know, like, duh. I'm gonna go through what I have in here for everyday purpose, especially when I go to work as a dental hygienist. I work 12 hour shifts and I want to make sure that I have everything in my bag. I've changed things up a bit because it's a new year. We are changing some things around, period. All of my what's in my bags have something like this and it is a good old planner. I recently went to Marshalls and purchased a new planner because it's a new year and I want to even get better with this because last year I didn't really keep up with my planner. I didn't do a daily routine, but honestly, you guys, this year I'm going hard at it. I keep my um, schedule on here. I keep my YouTube to do's on here i write down daily goals monthly goals yearly goals and i try to follow up with things so so far what i've been doing every day i wake up is go to the actual day and make a to-do list and at the end of the day i check it off so to go with this planner i also have some pins in here but at work i do use pins to write down appointment cards for my patients or even write down notes so i have a pink pen here i love colorful pens to write in my planner it just makes it more fun and then i have just some regular pens like black ink pens a case for my glasses so when you open this i have some sunglasses in here check me out honey also i love this um case because it can I feel like with the thickness of it, you can fit in more than just the glasses in here. I have some lens cleaner. I also have a little cloth to clean my prescription glasses. Inside of this little pocket, I have 
a little body spray. This is one of my favorites from Victoria's Secret. It's Victoria's Secret's Love Spell. This thing smells so good. Mm, 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 mm. And then I have some lotion. It gets so cold in my office sometimes and my skin gets super dry, especially with the winter time. This is a must for me. I gotta have lotion all day or day. I can't do dry skin, I can't do dry lips, no ma'am. So I have this, this is from Bath and Body Works. Um, no, I lied. This is from Victoria's Secret, clearly. So this is another little pochette. <laughs> this is for, this is from ipsy.com. Inside of here, I have my feminine personal hygiene stuff like tampon pads. You gotta have your emergency kit. So this is kind of like a little emergency um, pochette that I have here. Um, in the middle compartment here, I have some mint gum with me. Gotta keep it fresh. We gotta keep it, you know. I also have my AirPods case in here. I have my Apple Watch here in my bag as well. This is a must for me at work because if I don't have time to be checking my phone constantly, my Apple Watch is my go-to. I've got a mini lotion, Flower Bomb by Victoria's Secret. Some headphones again. Thank you too, you guys. Pistachio snack. I'm always snacking at work. I have my wallet, of course. This is from Juicy Couture. Um, okay, I love carrying this in my bags because this is where I put some bobby pins um, or like little hair accessories if I am having an issue or like if my hair tie breaks and I need to back up. Speaking of, I'm about to put this hair tie in here because you know, things like that happen a headband this is a simple black headband we you know when that when that list starts to lift honey and you need to cover up this is like an emergency case i could just use this whatever there is an area in this organizer where i just hold some like important mail um like bills i have to pay things i don't want to forget about i have another little pochette how cute is this you guys it has the eyelashes this is what i use for my go-to makeup products um just i just carry small size stuff in here just for like in case of a makeup touch-up but at the moment all i have in here is this kat von d translucent powder i have a lip balm i have lip gloss and lipsticks in here this is um maybelline super stay 24 hour i usually wear this at work because it lasts me all day especially when i wear masks and then i have eyeliner or lip liner and also i have I'm gonna go ahead and add in some of my lip glosses in here because like I said, we cannot do dry lips any. This is also from Ipsy. Last thing in this bag is the portable charger. This is a lifesaver because my phone's always dead. My watch is always dying. So when I am on the go, I can bring my charger with me and use this portable charger. So make sure that you check them out in the description box down below if you want to get your hands on a durable portable charger this completes today's video you guys this was my Louis Vuitton bag unboxing in a what's in my bag video today um I'm sorry if today's video was a little short my camera is actually about to die so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up let me know in the comments down below what are some of your essentials and must-haves in your bag I want us to chat a little bit don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video Mwah.